YouTube. It is natural to Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Unknown. Well, so today. There are times when the unknown harbors hope. Right, she's just yapping. Like how I can never know what else this power. So today, what I have for you is my day one summary of Modern Waves. So let me. For me in the UK, it's still been like one day, literally nearly twenty-four hours. Um, if I go here, you see down here 19 and a half hours so about 20 hours basically but i'm gonna stop now because look at me i am but yeah cool so i just want to go over like what we were able to do and do and all that so progress how that's looking so i'm union level 21 i was able to ascend up to rank 3 for soul phase I'm currently doing that for missions. I've unlocked the one Act 5 for rank 21, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, I haven't unlocked sim the simulated universe mode, the like the roguelike. Um, I've done all the exploration quests I can so far. And I've done a bunch of side quests. So, yeah, pretty good. Uh, tomorrow I'm just going to continue with the chapter 1, the Act 5. Uh, see where it goes from there cool that's kind of like the boring bit basically um what else is there to say really convene with polls i used on my beginner banner and i'm at the choice banner um i haven't pulled anything i'm still at 80 convenes so yeah and i'm gonna pull calcharo because i got super omega lucky and i got Jian Jin. hell yeah man she's so cool She's so tanky, she's so supportive, she's crazy, she's so nice. And yeah, I managed to send her up to Ascension 2. Um, I had to farm the monkey for that, so I unlocked it. I had to farm this guy. The monkey. The big monkey. So yeah, that's fine. So that's her. She's currently on some level 1 gauntlets. Because I'm not sure if I want to put resources into this. But if I don't have anything better. And I don't think I'm putting this one on. I don't know. I think I'm just gonna keep this. Like, she doesn't really do damage. I don't know. Weird. But yeah, cool. So we have that. Also, with the data bank, I've just unlocked 12 cost. So before this was just 10. So that's why I'm at 9, right? Because I've, like, min-max this thing. But yeah, currently, on her, I just have the energy region and arrow damage. Uh, That's fine. Then on Yang Yang, I went able to send her because she uses the same f uh, resource from the monkey, and I don't have any uh, energy of uh, stamina left for that. Um, yeah, she's on a lunar cutter, which is pretty cool. I may swap this with uh, the MC though, because like I use the MC on field a lot more than Yang Yang, but I don't know, it doesn't really matter to be honest. So that's fine. And then I have her on just two arrow. I wasn't able to get anything else. And yeah, that's about it. There are all of these echoes for both of these. They're still level zero. And I'm still doing lots of damage. Uh, traces as well. Level one. Same for Jian Jin. Nothing crazy. Uh, you may see on the list that I don't have Bai Ji. So that's because you only get Bai Ji if you pull on this banner once. And I haven't done that. Because like what happens, you get prompted to pull once. But the thing is, you can let the prompt run out. And that's what I did. I let the prompt run out so I didn't pull. Because I didn't want to waste it. Um, all I need to do to get my G, I just need to pull once on this banana and I'll get her. But... I mean, she's a healer. But I have Jen Jin. So I think I'm chilling for now. Because of the shields and stuff. And the self-healing. So that's that. Yeah, Echoes are still level 0. Traces still level 0. What is it called? Forte. It's still level 0. Uh, uh, level 1, I should say. Yang Yang. Resonance Chain 2. God damn. That's why I have 0 characters. Because I pulled 2 copies of Yang Yang. I pulled a copy of this weapon. Because it's R2. I can show you. It's R2. 
Then this weapon I pulled. I got this from the box, from the initial box, the pre-registration, pre like the follower goal thing that they had. And then I got another copy. So I have an R2 of this. So yeah, I haven't gotten any new characters. I've just gotten copies of the shit they get for free. Like that's crazy. Anyway, but it also makes it easier for like investment purposes. I just you know, I just have three characters, so I'm gonna use the three characters I have, you know? Say a rover. You have two spectro and two electro, there's just that's because how that ended up being. Uh electro doesn't really do anything. And this is my piece from the event. I plus twenty two it. I mean if I'm good, you know, attack. Uh, oh let's do this. Live. Let, let me see. Get scammed. Okay. Yikes. That's rough. Nah. Uh, echo luck. What can you do? All this getting scammed, you know how it is? But yeah, that's pretty cool. Basic attack damage bonus. Interesting. So, that's how she looks like. And also, I use Jen. What's her name? Jixia. For a while. Because I, I just pulled Jen Jin like an hour ago. So yeah, I was using her. I literally only had three characters. Because I've been king only getting copies. Like, oh my god. For pistols, I don't have anything. Uh, uh, interesting, I wouldn't have loved anything. But I've managed to get her on the five. Fire. Or the fusion. That's pretty cool. With the Inferno. What's this guy's name? Inferno Rider. That's the four cost. So yeah. But I'm going to have to go through these again and sort them out. Because now I've unlocked the 12 cap. There they go. Forte is still one. No copies of her. Obviously I got these two from the story. These two from pools. And she is Resonance Chain 0. So yeah. Nothing too crazy right now. So that's the characters. That's the pulling. I've only pulled on the beginner banner. I haven't spent on the limited banner yet. Don't want uh, this guy. I don't want him. What's his name? The general. Gian. I don't want him. I know he's like OP. He's so good. But now nah, I'm saving for Yin Lin and then for 1.1. Cool. Because he's a dude. And who wants that? Am I right? When can you use these three? Oh yeah. Then what else? I haven't started on any events yet. On like this this thing or like this. I mean I can't even do this yet. What else? I've gotten the rewards from this. There's just some more information. Echo Hunter. I still need to reach Data Bank 10 and finish the side quest. Uh, still waiting on San Hua. Cannot wait. My she's so cool in the story. You guys need to play this game. It's crazy. It's been so fun. It's like I haven't felt like this, like to know life a game for so long. And now that feeling is back. And that's why I did. You know, 20 hour stream. God dang. From release. Kind of. Like I was a bit late, like an hour or something. Uh because I'm stupid. But yeah. And I don't know what time conversion is. Um What else? The map. So I've just completed the exploration quest for Dim Forest. So that's where I finished off literally like a couple of minutes ago. Um and in terms of explosion, 22% here, 35 here, 24 here, 62, 84, 37, and 12 here. So to be honest, I've done a lot of exploration. Um, so yeah. I've completed most of these for the first clear rewards. Uh, for example, I haven't done this one yet. Or this one. So I should probably go up there and do them to get that insane boost, to be honest. And then when I unlock these areas, I'll do these as well to get the insane boost. And that'll be it for the bosses, I think, if there aren't any more somewhere. I don't know. In the beginning, I farmed this like once or twice just to get myself below 240 stamina. And after that, what I did, I grabbed this guy's boss materials. And... Who else's did I grab? I grabbed someone else's post materials. I had the Inferno guy once, and then two from the monkey. 
And that's been about it for stamina consumption, I think. I haven't had any echoes or like any like of these. No, these things. I haven't done that yet. But I feel like I'm gonna be here a lot. Doing. Um, this one I don't need. So yeah, it's been pretty chill. It's it's a good game. It's such a good game. It's crazy. Now, so that's kind of like what I've done so far, right? Uh, I'm keeping my days like 20 hours. They haven't been like, I've been like on and off, like for a couple of hours as well. I guess if you want to see this battle pass, I'm at six and a half. This thing, I need to do the trainings. I haven't done that yet, which is stupid because this was going to give me like a million XP. But the things I keep getting distracted by exploring, it was crazy. That's why I have like. 84% in this area. Just because, like, it just kept going. There was, like, chest after chest after chest. Um, and that was fun. Cool. Now. Let's go into something a little bit more serious, I guess. Cool. So. Watering Waves. It's, um... So. I didn't play any betas. I didn't watch much content on it. And... It's been... I came into it with like really high expectations of like literally blowing me away of like how good what it's gonna be. To do with this? And um Yeah, I came up with really high expectations and to like like blow me out of the water basically. Like wow, this is the best game ever made type of thing. because uh, to be honest, that's how the hype was. And I was just like, you know, if people are saying that this game's gonna be that good, then it has to be, right? Uh, but to be honest, it's more of a Genshin clone, in my opinion, than I thought it would be. Um, because literally, other than parrying, dodge, perfect dodging, uh, like counter attacks, and like maybe like um, closing and opening skills, that's what they're called, right? Um, like... It's kind of the same game, to be honest. Um, now, in terms of like how the game is, right? But then the difference is how the game feels, right? For example, you don't use stamina when you run, so you can just run everywhere. There's like grappling hook, like this thing is amazing. It's it's so good. You can run up walls, which like you just turn your brain off, just hold W and then walk up, and then you're there. You see, like. I'm just going. And I'm here. Um, what else? Uh, combat. It's so fluent and it's so good. And like all the tells that you're given for when to parry, when to uh, dodge, when to do all that. They're like so good, so obvious. Like if you pay attention, you should be able to play the game pretty well. Um, now to become good at it. Now that's where the issue is, right? Like, you can play the game and beat the game. Completely fine. To be good at this game. Now, that's a different topic. Because, like, there's so many combos. There's so many, like... Like, you know, animation cancels. Using the intro and outro skills. Like, properly. Which, I mean, I still don't understand. I'm gonna do the tutorials for each character tomorrow. And try to learn from that. Hopefully that helps. I thought that they're pretty good. Um... And yeah, that's what I was just like, I wasn't blown away. The story was, or is still currently mid. There were some sick scenes with especially Scar. Whenever Scar was like in the game, the game just became, the story just became better. Uh, otherwise, characters, like the type of like character progression that happened, it wasn't like impactful enough or like it wasn't like what? long enough or yeah i don't know it was just weird it's just if for the side characters there weren't like any character development to like learn about them there was the companion quest for ling yang that was pretty cool but that was long uh so it kind of like was on cons right um so there was that and then there was um 
Yeah, the story missions. Just kind of... I don't care. Well, like, I haven't been told anything interesting about the characters. Chisha and Yan Yang, they're like outriders. Cool, whatever that means. Um, what am I supposed to do? Baiji and the whoa, whoa. M doctor guy. The like doctors at the academy. Cool. Uh, the magistrate. She's pretty cool. Sanwa, she's pretty cool. Sanwa is really cool, actually, to be honest. But again, we don't know much about her yet. Uh, so yeah, she's like. It's kind of. It's kind of like all revolving around Rover. But without much context. Because again, I'm guessing it's because it's supposed to like... We forgot our memories. You know, just like the casual gacha thing. Um, and I'm guessing that's why everything's happening around us without context. Because we don't... We literally don't know what the context is. Uh, half the time. Self-awareness leads to wisdom. True. Hmm. So yeah. Sort of kind of sad to be honest it's definitely nothing like hsr or like a recent genshin nowhere close but again i'm only on i'm about to start act five right so maybe that changes something but as it is right now pretty mid don't really care about it just care about exploring and fighting things and leveling up my characters but yeah it's fun play it it's so much fun it's crazy I like, yeah, I don't know. The only downside I can see with this game is that because of the combat, the game can be hard. But I think I don't know how I would teach you how to play modern waves. So if you get it, you get it. If you don't, I don't even know what to say. Play like an easier action RPG before you play this on mouse and keyboard, and then see how that fares. Or even controller, like try controller if you're like struggling with mouse and keyboard, because you it's valid, you know. If you play like Dark Souls, you most likely play down controller. So you can have like the dexterity from Dark Souls and like use it on this kind of thing, right? If you want. Um but yeah. That's the only thing. It's like Do you know to be the game you don't need the love skill? But you should have a little bit. Yeah, but the skill ceiling is like so high, it's crazy. Oh yeah, that's fun. Can't wait to master all of these characters. And that's about it. Play the game. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Subscribe. Like. Comment. Goodbye.